When it comes to the Lord of the Rings film trilogy, there is one question that has plagued casuals for 20 long years. Uh, why didn't the Eagles just carry Frodo to Mount Doom? After all, why not? Why should I take the Eagle to Mordor? Well, my buddy Dylan and I decided to seek the answer to that very question in a 700 point doubles tournament in Whanganui, Aotearoa, New Zealand. For my half, I'll be taking Gwai here, the Windlord, along with his two homies, Landreval and Minaldor. Obviously, it's not the most practical thing to take chicks to a tournament, so here's Gwai here and the other two. Dylan would bring the other half with Frodo, Sam, Boromir, Legolas, and Bill the Pony. We were fully aware that we did not have a very competitive list, and as we drove to Whanganui, Dylan and I agreed that our main objective was to try and set up something cool, like Frodo slaying a troll or the eagles hurling stuff. The night before, we watched the list review and were particularly worried about the Bjornings, so called up John from JMAX Armies of Middle Earth. Hey guys, your, your Legion bonus, you'll be strength 7. Make sure you get the charge. Yeah. So then, if you do heroic strength, you get a higher strength, in which case you knock the bear down, which means you get double strength. Imagine hurling a bear. No, you you'd be into that. That could be f***ing hilarious. <laughs> that would be funny. <laughs> I'm just gonna toss a bear. Nobody <laughs> tosses a bear. We've got this. From the master himself. Confidence is just <laughs> yeah. shot right off. For our first game, we would face Dan and Dave with their Shire and Rangers of the North Alliance. They had Gandalf as overall leader, Will Whitfoot and Holfoot Bracegirdle, along with 26 Hobbits for one half, and the other had Aragorn with five Rangers of the North. Gwai here would be our leader in this game. Thematically, this made a lot of sense. Gandalf rightly thought it was a ridiculous idea taking the Eagles to Mordor, Fool of the dragons! And so tried to put a stop to it before they even left the Shire. The scenario was taken hold, which is a double scenario where the majority of the victory points are gained by having more models within 6 inches of the central objective. Additional points could also be gained by wounding or killing the enemy leader and breaking the enemy force. I moved my eagles forward with the intention of hunting some hobbits and avoiding Aragorn on the opposite side, while Dylan moved the fellowship up as quickly as possible to the centre. I had foolishly forgotten about magic, and Gandalf was in range to cast Command, moving one of my eagles out into the open to be charged by a horde of angry hobbits. So we need a 4 plus? Yep. Uh, yep. Oh, it goes off. Where's he going? <gasps> He's coming into the jaws of death. <laughs> oh no! He's in there. Oh, yep. he's definitely in there, yeah. Yep. Do you mind, could you stop rolling well? <laughs> 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 Look at the stop it! Oh, shit. Yep. Uh oh. Uh oh. Very brave hobbits. I forgot about things like that with Gandalf. <laughs> yeah, you forgot about magic. Whoops. Gandalf called heroic strike, meaning he would now beat the eagle with fight value. Okay, see if you get the six. You'll... Oh, there it is. Yep, okay, so you win. D8, so what do I need? Gandalf uh, gets strength yeah. five, so that'll be one. Happy with that? Trap? Yeah, I'm just saying it's trap, yeah. Oh, oh no. You might it. Last point of might. Probably not worth it. <laughs> well, that could have been a lot worse. Yeah. <laughs> Turn three. Go oh, get him, Adam. Here we go. Oh, I failed. <laughs> <laughs> heroic move, Gwai here. Thankfully, Gwai here's heroic move wasn't counted, which allowed me to get that all important charge with my eagles. Showing absolute vlogging professionalism, I then proceeded to move my eagles while blocking the view of the camera. So you'll just have to feast your eyes on the sight of my loud and intentionally themed shirt. It's the classic giant eagle surrounding hobbits uh, into movement going on here. Straight out of the box. Dan and Dave moved their entire force towards the central objective, ignoring my eagles. Dylan continued marching the fellowship up the board while I swooped my remaining eagle over to attack the lead hobbit and line up a potential hurl. I rejected calling a heroic combat this turn, hoping to save Gwaihe's remaining two might for heroic moves. 
Okay, that's two dead hobbits. Munch. Guy here. Guy here just gobbles them up. <laughs> the eagles were doing their job eating hobbits, but now it was time to line up a hobbit hurl. Let's hurl that little wee hobbit. Direct straight lines. Difference of five plus whatever this is. One. So six inches. Mm -hmm. It's gonna have him landing here. Yep. The guy who gets thrown is a strength three for each model he passes through. So that's yep. four strength three hits. Yeah. All right, let's, let's see what I do. Right. And Gandalf is on his butt. So with that successful hurl, seven hobbits were dead. But unfortunately, Gandalf was still unscathed. All right, ready? Yep. Oh, good. Oh, Dylan. The hobbits continued their slow march towards the centre while Aragorn raced in to assist and his rangers lined up some shots on our fellowship. We would need to kill a lot more hobbits to have any chance of securing that central objective because of our low numbers. The great thing about doubles is the banter and that you can strategize and bounce ideas off one another. Here we were getting very worried about Aragorn with his inexhaustible might heroic striking the eagles to death. The rangers had a clear shot at Legolas and fired a volley. After two failed fate rolls, Dylan, showing that classic wargamer superstition, decided a change of dice was in order for Legolas's final point of might. Okay, strike and combat. Unfortunately, this was an error. Aragorn should not have been able to declare two heroics in the same phase. He should have had to choose between heroic strike and heroic combat, which would have significantly changed the outcome of this game. Dylan and I missed this entirely, and in Dan and Dave's defence, this was their first ever tournament and the nerves were showing. No hard feelings, guys. Alright, so five high there. Ah, oh, there's the six. Ah, he's dead. He's dead. First strike. Oh, that hurts. Aragorn successfully slew my wounded eagle and then piled into Gwai here, along with some plucky hobbits. Oh, that's, that's painful. Uh, Gwai here, you got this, bro. You got this. All right, let's see if you get that that crucial six. Okay, so Aragorn, good enough, guys. Two hand on blue. <laughs> Aragorn and his halfling homies put four wounds into Gwai here, so I would have to roll well with my fate. Alright, all right, just, just, just roll high, high yeah. Roll high. Easy, alright. Okay, okay, so that's two get-throughs, I've got one left. So Gwaihir survived, just, with one wound and no fate left. That was painful. It's going to be all you, Dylan. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, so let's, let's do this one. Alright, here we go, here we go. Uh, uh, this is six. Alright, and he's going to hurl. Oh, a mighty eight, eight inches. So it gets to here, so he'll take it. So, thup, thup, thup. Yep. <laughs> Hobbit hurling was proving very effective at thinning the ranks of hobbits, but still couldn't get that crucial wound on their leader Gandalf. Next came another crucial priority. We need this desperately. Come on. Oh. Anything? I think we have to. I wonder where they just get Gwai here the F out of there. Yeah, yeah so, um, yep. so we'll call it. We'll counter with William <laughs> After a fierce debate over who would be considered good and evil for the sake of the heroic move roll off, we luckily managed to win it. So I sped Gwai here away from Aragorn and lined up a couple of Hobbit hurls. There it is. Alright, and yeah, it's gonna hurl. Yeah. That's been working really well. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> let's, let's keep it up. Consistency four. Uh, seven inches. So,
the eagles were slowly chewing through the hordes of hobbits, and then I said what is probably the most evil sentence I have ever spoken. We need to, we need to, kill, we need to kill some hobbits. <laughs> I'm not proud of it, and to be fair, there seemed to be a near endless supply of them, and while slow, they were running their hairy little feet closer to their central objective. They would easily outnumber us and claim those crucial victory points. So yeah, we had to, well, to kill some hobbits. So while Dan and Dave cunningly moved their hobbits in an annoying spread formation to prevent the large bases of my eagles from getting in at Gandalf, we continued our strategy of hobbit hurling and finally got Boromir into combat. And Boz is in there at long last. A run bill and rock along. Yep, yep, so they try and get that fate back. Oh, here we go, rolling the... No. No carrots for Legolas. No carrots, we can't find them. With the time limit fast approaching, Dylan and I discussed strategy and decided we really needed to up the ante so we would declare heroic combats with both Boromir and Legolas. Heroic combat yeah. and heroic combat. Gandalf used his last point of might for a heroic strike, recognising that I was setting up a barge with my eagles. He rolled a three, which meant he would be even fight value with Gwai here. No, it's evens. Yeah, man. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. people. Yeah. Can do your combats. Yeah. So, just for the next one, this guy will be barely. Heel piercing strike, because why not? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Bozza putting in the work. Oh, yep. There we go. Alright, where's he gonna go? Maybe go into the two hot bells and do the horn, yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh. yeah. And then we come to us. There we go. Yep. Get him it. Alright, where's it gonna go? I'll up into the tank or whatever. Yeah. So do you wanna go brum brum? Yeah, throw the horns. Yeah. Carry three. Yeah, yeah, yeah they love it. I guess I guess I'll bring it up. Get a little higher. Three. Oh, oh might. Might. Yep. yep, mince them, Bozza. Come on. Oh, four. Point of might to kill another one. You got three points of might to kill three hobbits. Legolas? Yeah, this is six. Oh, yeah, Legolas. Yeah, come on, Legolas. Combat over here. We're two hand anyway. All right. Wind's on a five. I'm gonna hurl. Six inches, so that should get G Dog. All right, we're broken. Boy here. Combat on that boy. Five high. Oh. So yeah, I am gonna budge. Finally, I got Guai here into combat with Gandalf. If I could kill him here, that would gain us two victory points. Okay. Uh, 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 <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. All into Gandalf. <laughs> oh, that's terrible. Hang on, hang on. So, Straight seven. Seven P five is only threes. Oh. Threes. Oh, oh threes. far out. Do we put his last point of might into one more to try yeah. and do it? Yeah. I reckon. Eh? <laughs> so close to the end, right? Yep. Yeah, yeah, Boom. Yeah. Okay. So Press okay. fight. Yep. I'll do the re rolls too. Second fight. Yep. Re roll. Re -roll. Third fight. Ah, okay. Yep. All right. So two wounds. Heading into the final turn, we desperately needed to win priority. Come on, big one. Damn it. Call it. Um, uh, heroic move with Boromir. Yep. We called a heroic move with Boromir, and they countered with one of their rangers and won the roll off. This meant that they could tag each of our models and move to claim the objective. So Sam, Sam's free one. Yep. We'll be fairly. Oh, oh, boy, good oh, boy. Oh, oh, Sammy, oh, come on, kill him, Sam. Kill him. Yeah. And gets in. I'll oh, wrap around to the front. So we chill on it. Dice down here. Oh, dice down. Dice down. Uh, uh, that was looking really exciting. <laughs> it was actually really deflating having to end the game here at what was turning into an exciting end phase. We claimed three victory points for breaking our opponents and remaining unbroken, and one victory point for wounding their leader. They gained five victory points for having twice as many models within six inches of the central objective, and one for wounding our leader, Guaihia. So in the end, it was a 6-4 loss. As always, thank you so much to my wonderful patrons. It's great to be able to share ideas over on Discord, and your continued support really helps to keep me motivated. 
please check out my Patreon link in the description if this is something that you would like to be a part of. Another way you can support the channel is to purchase your hobby supplies through my affiliate links, which are also linked in the description. As always, please like and subscribe and hit the bell. Let me know what fun lists you've run or would like to try, or simply drop a comment below to say hi. I always appreciate engaging with this awesome community of ours. Now on to what would be the highlight game of the tournament. The second game was Destroy the Supplies, and we were up against Mark and Duncan with their Assault Upon Helm's Deep Legendary Legion Force. This was a list that Dylan and I were worried about. I know only too well how devastating two ballistas can be against a force like ours. Thematically, Frodo and his friends, chastised by Gandalf and Aragorn, flew to Rohan to pick up some supplies for their journey to Mordor. It just so happened that Isengard was in the process of invading Rohan at this time. Okay, now to strategy. It was a fool's hope thinking we could save any of our supplies, so we kept the fellowship hidden from the ballistas behind a house. The eagle's job would be to race across the board to destroy both the supplies and the ballistas. If they could do this quickly, then they could very thematically return to save the fellowship. The first three turns simply involved both forces racing across the board. The horde of Oryx, along with the big scary troll, marched towards our supplies, and the eagles flew towards their closest ballista, desperately trying to break line of sight, or at least have some cover from their shots. Yep. So which one? The guy, guy here. Uh, re -roll. Re -roll. Oh, oh, he misses. Oh, no. Keep that up. Yep. Two hits. That's the house. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> Luck is holding. <laughs> the eagles were now safely within six inches of one ballista, but the other would now have a clear shot. I only like ballistas which I have. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. They called a heroic march with their Uruk leader, bringing them very close to our supplies. Abandoning their ballista, the crew charged my eagles along with a couple of berserkers. They fired a ballista shot at Gwai here, who was unengaged. After that lucky miss, we had a scary combat involving an eagle trapped by Oryx. There's the six. Just watch me roll a six. No. Sixes. Sixes? Oh. No. Again. And again. Come on, come on. Yeah. Oh, there's one. You've plucked one of his feathers. I'm gonna have to put in some work, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> As the tide of Oryx moved inexorably towards our fellowship, it began to dawn on Dylan and I the mammoth task ahead of us. Oh boy. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. This is tough. Yeah, exactly. Hey, are you up to there, buddy? We see ya, we see ya. We'll, we'll, throw, we'll throw Bill into him. You guys have to hold back a whole army. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. At least it's uh, thematic, right? Yeah, yeah, that's right. Oh, Baromir, you and got this, buddy. Shooting. <laughs> right. The first is going to Yeah, and, right into combat. Yep. Yes! That's a hit. Scatter. Ah, oh, direct on. hit. So, for us. Oh, that's it. That'll do it. Okay. Beach. <laughs> <sighs> okay, that's one down. No leggy. <laughs> You're gonna have to put in the work there, buddy. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, sorry, it's three. Come on. Oh, <laughs> Back to the range for you, Legolas. Oh. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna heroic combat. Oh my god, okay, sorry dude, sorry, sorry about that. Sorry. That's alright, I'm gonna mic that up. Mighting that up. Yeah, another mic. Why? Oh just for no particular reason. <laughs> Watch me roll six ones. Called it. Hey. Yes, alright, you're out of there. See ya. 
And now he's gonna come over here and help out his compadre. Peel those two off. Go one-on-one uh, on one here. One-on-one. <laughs> on one. Eagle on your crossbow. Eagle on your crossbow. Four. Whoa, I got two. Oh, that is ridiculous. Despite a rather disappointing series of combats from the Eagles, we had managed to eliminate one ballista crew. We then lost priority and decided against spending Guai his last point of might on a heroic move. I'm gonna try and charge him. No! With those failed courage rolls, two of my eagles were now free to move, so one went for the supplies while the other flew over to assist Guai here. Meanwhile, Boromir, Legolas, Frodo, Sam, and Bill the Pony were facing down a whole army of Uruk warriors. <laughs> <laughs> this is Dylan's thinking face. <laughs> hey, putting on the ring! Hey, how come? Boromir and Frodo then bravely charged into the fray. What are you going to do with Leggy? Um, I'm getting lots of shots of Dylan's thinking face in this one. <laughs> it's not really thinking, it's more just despair. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go through, I'll go through normals. Into the captain, El Capitan. Hey, now we're Three heading. Hits. Okay, just need sixes. Yes. Just Tap need before. sixes, yep. Three sixes, here we go. No. Oh, far <laughs> out. Do better, Legolas. Legolas has been absolutely rubbish in this whole tournament. Legolas has killed two hobbits, that's his tally. <laughs> Worth it. Worth 105 points. Sweet. Um, so, combat. Uh, hurrah, combat. Three high. There we go. There we go. Now it's all good. Yep, yep they'll do it. it. Oh, there's all the sixes. Frodo, oh. that's what you needed. <laughs> all right, oh. where are we going to go into? The wing shot out. Put them both into the troll. Halve the fight value. Halve the fight value. What else are we going to do? Just get surrounded and killed. Yeah, so. yeah, I reckon if we can take, will, take this troll, go, yeah, this is what, um, dude, this is what we brought to Sammy for. Fearless as well, because Frodo's alive. You just need, I'll you just need, five mites, yeah, so yeah, I'm you just need one six. I'll just use five mites. Wait for me to sit there, Tony. All right. Oh, that's a six! All right, get him! Get him! We haven't got the trap. So what is it? D H. So six is for Bozza, and then six by four. Yeah, it must be six by four. Sting. Yeah. Frodo. Oh, Frodo! Frodo! Same. So just bite it off. Let's do it. Four. So do you need to roll a four for this to be on? Oh, well, yeah. yeah. Play that one first and then see what we can do. Come on. Oh! Frodo! Oh, Frodo, no. what a legend! What a legend! I reckon might not kill him. What do you reckon? Four might? Dead? Dead troll? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is probably really stupid, but so, so worth it. So far. That is a troll. It's been killed. That is a fantastic move. <laughs> that made us laugh. Frodo just <laughs> killed. Five likes. Yeah, worth it. Worth it. Five points of might, right? And Frodo got that wound. He got it. Yeah, amazing. We were on even victory points with four after destroying two supply markers each, and Dylan and I won priority. Mark called a heroic move with his Uruk captain, and Dylan countered using Boromir's last point of might. Heroic move. Whew. Try and get the hell out of dodge. <laughs> okay, you make a roll. Four up, That's it. Come on, mate. Come on. Oh, no. So the Uruks piled in on Boromir and Frodo, completely surrounding them, while Legolas bravely charged in to assist. I moved the eagles over to deal with the remaining ballista, but it looked like they would be way too late to help the fellowship. Don't underestimate Bill, mate. Remember, he's a fearless pony. <laughs> Very on script, the Uryx slew Boromir. The yeah. captain of Gondor. Does he not have any face? No. no. no, no, no. He, he died in the movie. Remember, he died in the movie, yeah. <laughs> Come on, Frodo, you got this, buddy. One, two. You got this. <laughs> Six. Six. Frodo's oh. putting in the work! <laughs> 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 he 
Yes, yes. the kids totally oh, it. That's amazing. <laughs> of course, his luck couldn't hold forever, so he was eventually hacked to death, followed by Legolas. Once Sam and Bill were slain, we were now both broken and all supplies had been destroyed. We were even for victory points, but if they could keep their banner and lead us safe, they would win. So they hid them back against the building, making it very difficult for my eagles to get at them. We had multiple combats and I just couldn't break through, and I kept having issues trying to balance the birds on the ledge. How much, how much sportsmanship do you need? Like, <laughs> We were down to the last combat of the game, and to win we needed to wound their leader, kill their banner, and prevent Guaihe from getting wounded. Berserkers on the wing. Oh, five high. Six. We'll take it on the six. Uh oh. And he's trapped. Uh oh. No, nothing. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Nothing! Oh, dang. He's still in it. Okay, a big last combat. Alright, um, so three into Pika. Pike six, there it is. Oh gosh, okay, alright. Oh. Yep. Okay, so I'm gonna barge, get him out of the way. And then just. Into the cap. Ballsy into Captain. Oh, should I? Oh, captain take the, and the banner, yeah. yeah. Okay, captain all all out. Kill yep. them. Kill them. No, you roll. Okay, so <laughs> the on the orange. get the six. Oh! Yeah. Let's kill the banner. On, uh, so, man. first two strikes into the banner. Yes. yes. Banner is kaput, and the last four strikes into Uber Captain. Yeah, so three, three, three wounds. wounds. You get one fight. One fight. Oh, he's got three wounds, that's right. <gasps> oh, he's still got one. He's got two, two points of might to save Yeah, that. yeah. Okay, yeah. cool. Just one wound. Oh my god. Oh, guys. <laughs> So in the last seconds of the game, we managed to clinch a 6-5 victory in what was definitely one of the most enjoyable games of MESBG I have ever played. Dylan's already clocked out. He's given up. Like he's lost all hope. There's always hope. There's always hope. So this is the last game, last game of the tournament, and we've managed to come up against Grim Beyond and Beyond. Contest of Champions and and who's our leader? Not quite here. No, Legolas. <laughs> and our opponents can barely contain their glory. Just bear with us, it'll be a great game. Hey, there it is. <laughs> so Fraser and Ed's leader was Brimbjorn, which meant Legolas would have a tough time keeping up with his kill tally. I can't remember what our strategy was, but I think we'd resigned ourselves for death and glory. Boz is in there. Yes. Yes. I don't know, mate. Just whatever. Bring, whatever, yeah. Bring your, yeah. Arms. Bring your arms to bear. Um, <laughs> oh, no. I just can't bear the weight. <laughs> yes. I love this already. Grimbion managed to murder one of my eagles in the first turn, immediately gaining the lead for kills. One goose down. What? I threw Guaihir and Buddy Eagle into Bjorn to try and take him down and save Legolas. The match of the century. The match of all readers want to Oh, mighty five. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That's a dead uh, pony. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think he's dead. And now he moves into Fozzy. Look at how, like, with such relish, he pulls out more dice. <laughs> uh, yeah, rummaging around with those like paws. All, it's like all the dice I bought, guys. Okay, yeah. and this is six. Yeah. And, and then you still have one earlier on. Yeah. 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 Four of them. Heroic strength. Heroic strength and Gwai here. It's got to be done. Cool. Yeah. Oh, yeah, sweet. Sorry, sorry. So uh, nine. All right, rolling dice and two six, but... What's one? Six. No, you gotta. It is beast, not bone. Do you want to focus? It would be freaking hilarious. It would be but, fun, but. But it would be the stupidest thing right, yeah. to ever do. <laughs> I was so tempted to hurl, but yeah, everyone's gonna hate me and go, you are an idiot. Yeah, I know. I know. The old, the old Adam would have. Yeah. <laughs> You've changed. You've changed. You've changed. You've changed. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Are they wounding seven? Yeah. Oh, there we go. Damn. Seven. 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 Seven.
God damn it. Ooh, yeah. Yes! Oh, Down goes oh. Bayon! Oh. Oh. That's one left. That's one left. <laughs> We're now out of mine. <laughs> in my defense, at this point in the game, we actually had a chance of snatching an improbable victory. Unfortunately, this hope would not last as Legolas perished and Grimbion continued his killing rampage. In the end, it was a 4 1 loss. Oh, what a absolute good game. Russia. <laughs> Thanks, guys. What a good game to end on, eh? Yeah. Yeah. What an awesome tournament. If you're not too worried about winning, then I highly recommend taking a fluffy themed list like this. It really adds to the fun. Thanks so much for watching this far, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you here next time on 3D Games Wargaming and Terrain. Thanks again, and good hobbing everyone. Oi, stop picking at my landscape. Come on, oi, come here, come here. Come here, come here. Hey, holy moly, alright. Ah.